Good morning. Let me share something with you, especially those who are hungry to see God do some magnificent things in your life. There are two things that I want you to know about God. His characteristics will not change. He'll always be light. He'll always be wisdom. He'll always be understanding. He'll always be love. Uh, he'll always be um, having all power, all knowing. Those things remain the same. But his methodology, the way that he does things in our lives collectively or individually may be different. Sometimes what we cannot wrap around our minds is that God is all powerful. He has all ability and he can do whatever he likes. Sometimes I think we forget that Satan constantly tries to replicate everything that God does. So when you see Satan do something, it is because he has seen God do it. So this thing with familiar spirit in, in dreams that you have, that is nothing new. Satan didn't just come up with that. That was something that he saw God do it, but he decided to use it for his means, a demonic means, because Satan knows that behind everything is a spirit. That's why God says in the book of 1 John 1, 5, that he is light and there's no darkness in him. He's letting you know that. See, not only is God saying, when I show up, there's gonna be this radiance, you're gonna be able to see things, but I'm going to manifest. God's light manifests the things that he is, his character. It manifests understanding. It manifests wisdom. It manifests closure in your life. It manifests all of those things. So Satan says, I'm going to replicate that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to be the son of light. And I'm going to try to manifest things, but they're going to be my things. They're going to be soulish natures. They're going to be bitter and hatred and, and fear. That's what he does. So when you see a face in a dream, it is not necessarily a familiar spirit. God can use anything that he wants to use to drive something home. Everything ain't Satan. It's more God out here than it is Satan.